Hey guys, Classic Gamer here. Welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 6. So, let's go ahead and get this energy tank before you begin going through this level and... Well, I would say probably getting horribly massacred, but... That really hasn't been the case so far for any of these levels. I don't know why. I think that uh, this might be one of the easier Mega Mans. Then again, that could just be that I've improved so much from playing Rockman 4 minus Affinity that this game doesn't really phase me anymore. And it probably would have a little bit more so. Well, one thing I want to do here is fly up to this and fail. I if there's a good block I can just do this from. Uh, sort of, but it still involves flying to get to it. Fly, pause. Oh, do not use an energy tank on accident. There we go. Just spam the crap out of the flame attack. Get in here. Hey, fuck you and your shield. I wonder if I can even shoot over their shield. Ah, uh, that looked like it should have hit me. Nah, they, they just seem to be invincible regardless. What assholes. Oh wow, they uh, they have way more HP than I was expecting. I thought two shots should have done it, and then it didn't. And I'm going to fall off here. Oh, cool. I realized too late that it was ice, and I felt I was just going to walk right off the edge. This way I can at least get my Yamato Spear. Oh, in better condition. Actually, that should be all I need for the rest of the game. I don't think I'm going to need any more of it. Oh, fr uh, forgot about those guys. They're kind of annoying. They like to get pissed off at you for destroying their glasses, and then they come running at you quickly, very quickly. Oh my god. Fuck off. I need that help now. Hit, and... Ah, oh, shit. Where are these damn nerds? Actually, they do have what looks like a graduation cap on. I remember when I got to wear one of those. That was a fun day, and then I had pizza. True story. Man, what's this boss? I don't even have a clue. Um... Oh hey, it's that thing I was thinking of before. Should be like the bubble watcher or whatever. Just spits out, like... Bubble... things. Bubbles of oil or something. And I can just out DPS them, so I don't really give a damn. Seriously, I didn't... I was in no danger of dying, even though I came in at not full health. The windstorm attack just destroys them. Only problem is, it goes straight. Well, not straight down. It goes down in like a diagonal fashion, so you gotta jump and hit them with it to make sure you actually land your shots. So, that's something to think about. Hmm. Kinda wish I ate before doing this. Yes! Speaking of real life things, cause I'm hungry. Hungry, and all I've had to eat for dinner is a bowl of ramen noodles. Yum. Well, maybe I'll go and make something after I finish recording all this. I guess chicken rice. I've got enough stuff for that. Hey, folks! Really easy chicken rice recipe. Just get uh, two cans of chicken, drain them. A can of cream of chicken. A can of cream of vegetable you want, celery, mushroom. Uh, whatever sounds good to you. Mix all that together. Fill up one of those vegetable cream of cans with rice. Pour that in, and a lot of it will stick around the edge. Fill that back up with milk, and switch it between the two cans to try and get all the rice off as much as you can. Put all that together, mix it, bake it in the oven for about an hour at 350 degrees. Family recipe. Pretty decent. And then when you serve it, you might want to put some, like, sriracha sauce or something if you like it spicy. I love sriracha sauce. Crap, Yamato man, fuck you! Fuck you with your spear in Japan. Nippon! Actually, I kind of like Japanese stuff in general. Not quite a weeaboo. 
but almost. Oh, Plant Man. You're... well, just as easy as ever. Ow. Of course, I will get hit from your attack twice. I don't think I did it at all in the original fight. Homer's slipping! He's starting to talk about cooking recipes, thus he is sucking! Actually, it's not kind of the reason at all, but... It's my excuse! Whoa, 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 whoa. Also, the fact that we're doing the uh, boss rush right now means that there's probably only one more level after this. Even though the uh, map showed this was the last level. In fact, this could still be the last level. We could just kill these bosses and then go straight to the Wily fight. I honestly forget which is going to be true. I know there's not going to be another level after the one after this. There's not going to be two more levels, let's just say that. Because that's the truest way to make that statement. Whoa! You and your mace, Morningstar, ball and chain with no actual chain because you're a robot and you don't need it. Really simple. Love Yamada Spear for that. Just goes right through his shield, which your other weapons will not. And let's go ahead and get Knight Club? I don't know. I forget what the seed actually stands for in this. Crash? Crusher? Cudgel? I like the idea of a Knight Cudgel. Oh god, he's gonna run me over again. Like a fucking horse. Oh, there we go. This probably won't be the last thing that I play you see centaurs in. What could he mean by that? Speculate! Uh, let's get Centaur Flash out. Whoa! One thing that is weird about Windman is how fast he is. He's fucking fat as hell, but he goes flying across the screen. Dead. I kind of wish I remember what positions these guys were in better. Oh, great Tomahawk Man. We'll kill you with plants. And hope to hell that I do not uh, get murdered. Well, I got enough energy tanks that I shouldn't have a problem. If I seem like I'm going to lose, I can just do use one of those. Whoa, that was dangerous. I shouldn't try and jump over the tomahawk when he's throwing it from that far away. Its exponential curve means that, you know, it'll go up. So you can probably dodge it. And was this the right weapon? Yes! I had a 50-50 shot of choosing the right one, as long as I remember who I'd killed already. But seriously, this fight. It even goes through his little barriers, so... I only have to jump to get it to hit him. That's pretty broken. And the last one's gonna be Blizzard Man. <sighs> Fuck you, Blizzard Man. Fuck you. You and your being a snowball. Who somehow takes up less space when he's in ball form than when he's standing normally. Oh crap. Yeah, just put a snowflake right in my face. That's fine. Ow. Damn it. Do I get back? Yeah, I get back to full health. Cool. Um, yeah, this might be the... F ah, no. That's right, I normally will switch to a weapon and then charge up, and then it's like, oh, surprise, that's the end of the level, even though it didn't look like it. Was that skull there before? I forget. Whatever. It's not like they're trying to trick us with anything anymore. I think Capcom realized how uh, see-through the Wily plots were, so like, whatever, we, we just don't even care. And you could grind forever on these guys if you needed to. Kinda like the giant Mets in uh, Mega Man 3. I don't need to. Even though I don't even remember what to use on uh, Wily. I think I'll be just fine. Hey! One last Eddie. Don't give me you think. Or a life. Damn it, Eddie! <laughs> Those times when I don't need the really good things, I still get them from you. You are the worst partner ever. 
Okay, um... Ah, screw it. I'm just gonna go with the Mega Buster. I wanna say that it still does pretty decent damage to him. Or I can just, you know, get into the fight and get stomped. Whoa! Whoa! You're way too close. I do like this music, though. Wow. Fail! Actually, I'm gonna stop using that for a second and try this out. Nope, that isn't it. Fuck, I'll just try a bunch of weapons out. Because I have them to do that with. Ah, that's the one. Why wouldn't it be Silver Tomahawk? Didn't I say that was the most important weapon, like, when I first got it? It's still Silver Tomahawk. Oh, Wily, you have no chance to survive. You are going to die. Whoa. Huh. I forgot there's another form. Um... Hmm. I bet I could cheap out using B. Oh! Right. This thing. Oh, I don't have any Centaur Flash. You can do a pretty cool thing if you have Centaur Flash here. Fuck it. I will use Beat. Beat! Slay my enemy! Um, Beat. Get get up there. Kill him. Beat, you suck. Yeah, yeah. Fuck you, Beat. Just fuck you. <laughs> Silver Tomahawk still owns his ass. Sorry, I'm, I'm just finding it hilarious that his last form, his all of his forms in this game are weak to the same thing. Normally they have different weaknesses. Um, okay, cool. I probably should have kept using the uh, Mega Buster for the first two forms, or at least, at least the first one, considering how close I cut it on the t Silver Tom Hawk there. So, finally, once and for all, Wily's put behind bars, and that's not actual text. The only thing you can read on there are Capcom Times, 20XX, and Dr. Wily. Well, looks like it should say B... something. I would assume that they should have just put said behind bars. Regardless, you have the text down there that I'm not actually reading at all right now. So, Mega Man, you fought for everlasting peace, and now the world is at peace! Good on you! So we get the uh, montage of the different bosses, and apparently the staff credits are going to roll at the same time for once. And in doing so, we're going to get to hear all the stage songs again. Man, Dr. Wily's made a lot of robots. Which then causes you to ask, did he actually make all these robots and form that ruse at the start of the game for no reason? Or are they actually made by different people and he pulled a Mega Man 1? I don't actually know. I mean, they're given Dr. Wily uh, numbers as if they're actually made by him, but I don't know if that actually means anything, because uh, didn't the first Mega Man bosses have Dr. Wily numbers on them as well, and those were made by Dr. Light? Oh, technically, I guess they were made by both Light and Wily together. Hmm. And if that's true, then did Dr. Wily help make rock and roll? Hmm. Did Dr. Wily have a hand in his own demise from the very beginning? I, that's very possible. I don't know, maybe we'll find out by reading the Mega Man comics. Then again, that's probably not totally canon to the story. Whatever, there's hardly a story to the first couple games anyway. I mean, it's all pretty much fan speculation. It's fun. I like it. It's more interesting than arguing about Zelda timelines. But, 
and eh, I don't think that it really matters. I don't think that uh, the moral questions or the quandaries of whether or not Wily helped make the things that would beat him are really that important. Oh, the music sounded like it was going to get interesting there. And then it switched to Wind Man's song, and meh. That's not bad. It's not as interesting as Tomahawk Man's song. Heck, I don't think there are very many songs in this game that are that good. It's like Yamato Man's is cool, Tomahawk Man's is cool. Is there anything else? <laughs> Yeah, I really did like this one. I think I've actually heard a few remixes of it that are pretty cool, too. Oh yeah, Flame Man's song is awesome. I did enjoy the oil field. You know, like, fighting Flame Man without having a weapon to go through his stupid fucking flame pillars, but, you know, whatever. And... Giant wall of Japanese names I can't read. Hey, there's a English name in there, David Dunn. And I guess Luke Miron. Hmm. Well, this game was awesome. They're <laughs> still using fake names. Bambi! And Turkey613? What the fuck? Ah. Uh, Sue! No, I'm sorry. Hyper Mickey! And Hyper Benji? Sorry, I'm thinking of Mickey Mouse trying to go, like, hyper through fucking Chaos Emeralds now. Flying around the screen. There you go, that's your that's your new hack for the day, kids. Make Mickey into Brawl. What do you mean, to be continued? Wily's behind bars. The story's done! Shut up! We're done with this. Except that Mega Man X is a direct continuation of the original series by... You know, doing time skip. Oh, that's something I should mention. I really wish that Mega Man 10 did connect Mega Man Classic and Mega Man X. Just be like, okay, you guys know what? We made 10 of these games. We're not making another. We're not going to make Mega Man 11. Fuck it. At the end of Mega Man 10, you see Dr. Light finishing building X's body and putting in that time capsule forever or converting Mega Man to X whatever the official plot is for that I think X is supposed to be a whole new thing anyway that's enough rambling I'm going to close this thing out and I'll see you guys in the next LP see you later